Welcome to the High Voltage Light Electric Vehicle Channel. I hope everyone is having a good weekend. It's minus 26 here, so I'm keeping nice and warm. So the CYC Gen 4 has formally released. I had the official launch video for the Gen 4 pop up on my YouTube feed. So let's have a look. The video kind of frustrates me a bit because it's just a puff piece, kind of hype it up. And when you break it down, it doesn't really tell you anything of much use about the Gen 4. So let's watch and then I'm going to analyze things a bit and make a few suggestions because at the end of the day, CYC are really the only company out there making a torque sensor motor with any degree of what can be called high power. So I think they should be making videos that really show this aspect off. Okay, so the first point, the bike in the video here is not really doing anything that a Bosch or Shimano bike could not do. The bike in the video is not pushing any real kind of power. It's definitely not doing five kilowatts because the battery on it is tiny. So why not have this promo video showing power and speed? I mean, why not have the video with a walk around of a bike showing the kind of battery that can deliver five or six kilowatts? How about showing the drivetrain that can hold up to that kind of power? Like, it seems like a no-brainer to me. It's been sold as a five kilowatt motor, yet the video shows a guy riding in a way that a half-decent analog mountain bike could do without a motor. Another thing I'd really like to see is them show people how it sounds. One of the biggest criticisms of the CYC X1 that puts a ton of people off buying one is the noise. With a music track, we can't actually hear the motor. So how about a video of the Gen 3 motor compared directly to the Gen 4 so people can hear the difference? Because if it's noise that's keeping people on the fence and it's been solved with this new motor and it's really quiet now, wouldn't it make sense just to show them? Because that would sell motors to people that wouldn't have bought them before and that's kind of the name of the game. I think one of the enduring frustrations about CYC is that they do tend to get their users to do the real world testing for them and then they make a new generation based on the issues people find. I mean, if that upsets a few people, so be it, but it, it's the truth. So I don't think it's too much to ask for more in terms of the promotion than, than this video. Right, I'd like to see videos with their own test bike built to push five or six kilowatts that CYC have been riding around for six months of hard riding. They should have a bike like this by now with 10,000 kilometers on it. I'd like to see what the sprockets look like. I'd like to see the state of the chain tensioner. I'd like to see some graphs of heat after it's been ridden hard up 10% hills for a long time. Right, lab testing of these things doesn't really cut it the same as putting a person on a bike and then riding it really hard for long distances. I know of one tester that really pushes things and he says he's been running it for six months and has not managed to break it yet. And I've no reason like not to believe the guy, but there's not any real evidence of this being provided. Like how many kilometers has been ridden? 5,000, 6,000? What kind of terrain? What kind of sustained power has there been test data recorded? If it's five or 6,000 kilometers being ridden at three kilowatts plus and the sprockets still look good, then show it because that's the sort of thing that will give people confidence and it will sell CYC more motors. In terms of power, they seem to be climbing down a little bit on the rating, which I think is sensible. When this was first shown, it was like 8.5 kilowatt peak, and now it's five kilowatts, and the control has been limited to six kilowatts. And according to CYC, this is to limit the potential to damage components in the controller. So I, I'm sorry, but if you're worried about damage to the controller, then it's just a six kilowatt controller. It's not an 8.5 or a nine kilowatt controller. The other possibility is it's being limited here to stop people from running nine kilowatts through a Gen 4. So here's a challenge. 
Show us a CYC built six kilowatt demo bike in some videos. Show us what it looks like. Show it after 10,000 kilometers. Show it what it sounds like. It'd make a brilliant video. Demonstrate what it can do. And I'm sure it will sell a ton more motors. At the end of the day, there are lots of people that have gone through the ringer with warranty issues and credit where it's due because CYC helped their people. But there are also people that have just given up and written it off as well, like sod it, it's not worth the hassle anymore. And whether they like it or not, they have a reputation for things breaking and not being strong enough. Otherwise, why are we now at Gen 4? But there's a super, super easy solution to this. Rather than jazzy clips, show the motor dishing out power for time. And I think CYC will sell way more of these motors. I don't think it's too much to ask for that. Anyway, if you're planning on picking up the Gen 4, let me know in the comments. What kind of power will you be running? What kind of frame choice? Are you going to be trying to do single speed with it? All that stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.